guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today we've got a grocery haul from Costco. So it's a Costco haul. And literally, <laughs> it's been quite a day. It's a day off during the week instead of on the weekend. And I thought I'm just gonna go and get it done and get some gas. And first off, gas prices are ridiculous. The cheapest that I could see around here is $4.39 a gallon. I got to Costco, it was $4.39. 69 a gallon and I was like nope not buying there and I had Fred Meyer rewards points from last month that I could use I had 60 cents off a gallon so I used that at Fred Meyer I still my gallon or my gas was 401 a gallon so that's how that story goes if you have if you know what your prices are this week um, for gas leave me a comment in the comment section it's always interesting to see where and and how high or how much lower the gas prices are um, from where you are, whether you're somewhere across the world or across the country. So Costco, uh, I went for a couple of key items and ended up with some extra stuff because, well, when they have it on sale and they have it available, the first thing was these towels. So these are, I love the texture and they they're wonderful i ha i don't have the green i love this green but i don't have this color green in this towel um but that's going in our, our bathroom and then i do have these and i've had them now bought them when i was in reno so over five years ago um probably six or seven years and they're holding up but because i bleached my towels um some of them in the in the center i've got i noticed some thin spots so i thought well you know i'll just go ahead and so reasonable these guys are let me see if i can quick find it these bath towels were 6.97 a piece so i i just i thought well why they've got the towels i know i like um especially hung out on the line they just are wonderful i bought those <clears throat> pepperoni because we have pizzas but about once a week because it makes a great um, handheld lunch on the go and nobody minds cold pizza or reheat it. So their pepperoni, this is a great buy because in the grocery store, a uh, six ounce package is three to four dollars, sometimes even more. And this particular package is $9.99, I believe, for pepperoni, let me make sure. But I believe that's what that is. And so that'll go for pizzas. For, for the next month or so, probably month and a half. <laughs> uh, rotisserie chicken. So they changed their packaging on rotisserie chicken. And um, anyway, I, I had one tumble off the seat and spill all the juices into the floor mat. That, my sweet husband cleaned it all up for me. So um, <laughs> don't hit the brakes when you've got chicken on the seat. Um, okay, smoked Gouda because I plan on making uh, a delicious red pepper soup this week and we're gonna have soup and salad one night, but it's, it calls for, my recipe calls for smoked Gouda and my favorite smoked Gouda is always at Costco. So I picked up some smoked Gouda. They had lapping cow cheese and I love this on, um, to have, to put on vegetables, to put on crackers. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I also want to make, um, these little burger cups with wonton wrappers so it requires lapping cow cheese and when it goes on sale it lasts forever in the fridge but it goes on sale these were 350 off so normally 949 and I got 350 off so there you go uh butter whoa butter's high butter was mm, where's my butter butter it was like $13, $13 something for four pounds of butter. Uh, $1.99 for a bundle of bananas. So, and I, I've got a couple over there that are ripe, so these will ripen. Um, I, Costco has such a great deal on that. They also have a great deal on these beautiful cotton candy grapes. If you've never had these, they are delicious. They're so sweet. They're absolutely wonderful. And the chickens will come for a couple of different recipes. I've got a chicken, actually a chicken pesto pizza that I wanna make, but I've also got chicken pesto that you can do over pasta with Parmesan cheese and it's delicious as well. 
then I will bone the rest of it and put it in freezer containers for soups, for um, chicken salad, for quick um, Caesar salad. Just thaw out a package and there you go. It's all ready to go. And these are $4.99. I cannot buy a chicken in the grocery store, bring it home, season it, and cook it, and use my power to cook it for $4.99. It's just not possible anymore. So thank you, Costco, for keeping those prices the same. Uh, garlic. I, I keep this on hand even though I prefer fresh, but in a pinch, I use this. And in all of my breads that require garlic, I use this. Um, it comes out with a better flavor. So the garlic was $6.99 for this big, oh, 30, no, 48 ounce tub of garlic. It lasts forever. And then of course the pesto, that was $9.69. And I will divide this up into three half pint containers that will go in the freezer until I need them. And that's just about the perfect amount for a couple recipes if I do it that way. And I don't waste any of it because this in my opinion is the best pesto on the market. Just my opinion. Um, okay, mayonnaise, because we needed mayonnaise, best foods. Mayonnaise, it was not on sale, so it was $9.99, but we needed mayonnaise. Sea salt, this is three something. Sea salt, $3.39 for a container of sea salt. Uh, whipped cream, I just saw that. Whipped cream, uh, or whipping heavy whipping cream, whipped cream. This is wonderful. I use it in my coffee. We use it for desserts. It's a pretty good deal. It was 11 something, 11.69 for the whipped cream. And yeah, let's see. Oh, an edamame, that organic edamame. I take those, they're individual bags. You steam them in the microwave. Lemon juice, <laughs> hence the lemons. Uh, lemon juice and a little bit of salt, of sea salt, and I, uh, it's lunch for me, and it's, it's low calorie, it's really high in protein, so I recommend it, and it takes about 20 minutes to eat the package, so you don't feel like you're not eating enough, I, I really, it's a, it's a neat lunch, and I like taking it, so that's for some of my lunches, anyway, um, mini chicken and cilantro wontons, this makes such a great, easy, quick soup. Throw some chicken broth in there, maybe some um, fresh cut vegetables that you have, and you've got you've got soup on the fly in a, in a matter of minutes. A, a big half gallon of half and half, and that was four sixty nine. I can't, I can't do that. I can't not buy it. They're almost paying me to buy it. <laughs> it's such a good deal. Uh, brioche buns. We like these not just for a burger, and we are gonna have burgers one night this week, but not just burgers, but they make such a great tomato and avocado sandwich, um, even just for breakfast. I butter the bun and kind of brown it in a skillet, and then just the avocado, tomato, and salt and pepper, and it's divine, it's so good. So how much were those? Brioche buns were 4 dollars but that's a big pack. I'll probably end up freezing part of those uh, because we won't eat them fast enough. And then, let's see, anything else over here? At a moment, okay. Uh, I did pick up a bottle of Pino Grigio, just for a change of pace. <clears throat> Some naked, these were on sale, so I bought them. Naked smoothies, have you ever had these? These are wonderful, okay. I haven't had them in a while. And those were, oh, the edamame was $12.99 and it's 12 packages in there. So it's really reasonable, a little over a dollar for lunch. You can't beat that. Or to, you could, you know, open the pods on all of them and put that in a salad or have that in a stir fry. Uh, you know, all kinds of things with it. I did buy a box of the um, chicken stock from Costco. It's by far my favorite. That's still a pretty good buy at $9.99 for six cartons of that. Uh, and then I bought a big container or a big 18 count of Angus um, ground chuck burgers. So yum, juicy, delicious. You can cook them from frozen. Still looking for the smoothies. Let's see, uh, smoothies, smoothies. Oh, I don't, 
I guess we didn't put the downy in here. That must have gone to the laundry room. I did buy downy, um, unlimited. Uh, they're like the scent beads for your laundry. I bought that. Th those were three dollars off, so they were only ten ninety nine. I also bought um, fabric softener, and I believe that was eight ninety nine. And let's see what we've got. What else do we have here? that I'm missing. Looking for the smoothies. Um, and I don't see it. And I know, oh, the butter was $13.79. I do know, there it is, smoothies. Regularly $16.99, they were $5 off. So buy it. So for that, we've got smoothies for our lunches. So between that and a edamame, that's a great lunch. You've got your fruit and your um, vegetables and that high protein, it's just a delicious lunch. So that's my haul. So we're gonna have chicken a couple times this week. We're gonna have pizza. We'll have a burger. Um, I do have, like I said, the red pepper soup and salad for the week. Uh, and if we have any leftovers, that's gonna happen as well. I do expect that we'll have a stir fry of some sort with either shrimp or chicken, or I might thaw out a little bit of a pork loin and velvet that meat. But that's what's for dinner this week, and we'll see if I stay on plan. Whether I do or not really depends on what pops up during the day. So what's your plan for the week, and did you have a good shopping experience this week? By the time you get this, you will have probably an answer for me. Anyway, all right, guys. We'll see you next time for another um, shopping haul and a plan for meals the week for the week ahead. Okay, bye.